Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you how I pack for my resort vacation that is coming up. Number one resort vacation must have essential mosquito patch because you never know when they are going to attack you. So I'm going to paste one on my clothes wherever I go. Whenever I get bitten by the mosquitoes, it will take a long time for the swell to go down. It will really swell to a big bump, so I'm extremely, extremely afraid of that. And then I have to put steroids on it, and I don't really like doing that very much, so yeah. Next up on my travel essential list is my essential oil collection. I never travel anywhere without them. So importantly, this helps me to sleep. It is a blend that I created myself and I use this every night. And for those muscle ache nights and days, I have my deep relief oil. Tranquil blend keeps me relaxed and breathe again. It's for my breathing. So this helps me a lot when the place is like the air is not so pure and it's polluted and my throat starts feeling scratchy this helps me a lot and of course my peppermint oil that I love I use a lot of that I use it in my bag I use it to diffuse it really really pick me up and wake me up like even on sleepy days just like inhale this and I'm ready to go. Lavender is an absolute essential. I could use them for insect bites, for coming and relaxation. And I'm gonna bring my favorite oil, which is Neroli. It's mildly sedating and helps me sleep really well. So these are my favorite travel oils that I don't leave home without. Other than that, I also have some little oils which I put into tiny tiny bottles. Let me show you. Which I put into my makeup pouch so that whenever I need them, I could have like Neroli which is just roll on a little on myself. And my favorite, White Angelica. I really love to put white angelica on myself because it really it's an oil that promotes very positive energy and I like to apply some of myself when I'm going to meet a lot of people because I don't want to absorb the bad energy from the outside and bring it home with me so this oil will help me repel all negative energy for this trip, I'll be bringing along my new video recorder to do my vlogging. This is a present from my daughter, Callista, because she knows that I'm vlogging and so she bought me this. It's a really, really good one. Very stable, it's like a mini gimbal. And of course, without my cameras, I don't travel. So taking along the Leica M, because it shoots the most dreamy pictures. And this light pad is an LED light pad, which are good when you need light in the room, which sometimes could be quite dark. Oh my God, I need to charge it. And a wider angle camera that's good for like cool shots, view shots. Yeah, basically my kind of shots. My next must-have for me personally is my breathing machine and my medication. I start to wheeze whenever the air is very polluted or when I'm under stress and then I start, you know, um, feeling like I can't breathe and this could really, really save my life. And for resort vacation, I usually don't bring any of my designer handbags so I prefer to use very natural material bag like this wooden bag from Kaut Gaia. It's shaped like a fan. I like how Japanese it looks. Or a handy straw bag like this and I could like throw in my swimming costumes and my sunblock etc into this bag and just 
go around the island. And with handbags like this in natural material like straw, rattan, wood, I don't have to worry about getting them dirty. I could put them on the floor and I don't really care. So it is very, very fast free for me if I want to have a relaxing holiday. Never, never forgetting my sun protection every day or wherever I go. I swear by this sun protector by Q Aesthetics. It is SPF 50 and very very lightweight on my skin it does not hinder with the perfection of my makeup which comes after this step and it lasts for many hours because it is an SPF 50 besides this I also take like uh, some block pills just for the full protection I remember one time in the Maldives I brought along sun protection that is like this spray on because I think that it is really really convenient for me just using it and it was like really an off-the-counter product it wasn't good for my skin my skin reacted really really badly to it I started hiving like big time at the resort I had to see the doctor twice and they couldn't do anything to help me it was swelling everywhere because it was blocking my pores from breathing or like even perspiration from coming through my pores that taught me a very very big lesson and from then on I only use like very very good sun protection products not off the counter so yes I'm going to be slathering my body everywhere with Bespoke by Q the next resort travel essential must have are hats I love hats, they're one of my obsession. I got this new hat from Jacquemus. It would truly, truly be right at home with the dresses that I'm going to be wearing for this vacation. How cute is that? I bought a new hat yesterday. I am very tempted to bring it for this trip, but actually it's for South Africa. But I can't resist. I'm going to show you guys right now. So, oops, ta-da! This is for my safari trip actually. But I'm so, so tempted to bring it along this weekend. So cute! Mysterious. You can never be too much of a fashionista. Do I look like I could plant rice? The most stylish rice planter in the world! I'm going to be bringing along several straw hats which I'm going to show you right now. Now you this time, you belong in a lavender field. You stay at home. Too small. Straw hats. Yes, you are coming with me. Cute. Too dark. Too pink. This goes with everything and it has fallen into the Indian Ocean before and somebody had to fish it out for me. Thank God, you're back to mama. Your poor little feather. We definitely don't want to be without our bathing suits on a visit vacation. So, the wild one. And a teeny weeny yellow bikini. Never, never go into a resort without my sunglasses because the sun is always blazing in these places. I'm gonna pick out a few to match with my outfits that I'm going to be bringing this time. travel without my bird's nest. I have one every morning with this packaging by Power River. It really, really is the most convenient way for me to consume my favorite Chinese tonic. Just take one, drink it and throw. Not leaving without my favorite cleanser and lately I've been using this cleansing brush to clean out my pores. So this is really good for those hard to reach areas and every time after I use it, my skin actually feels a lot firmer and tighter. 
we've come to the end of my video I hope you guys have enjoyed me sharing about my travel essentials for my resort vacation I can't wait to share with you my vacation vlog which will be coming up next week looking forward to show everyone where I go, what I eat and where I stay don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and show me some love till next week stay chill and good vibes only Oh, 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 oh,